welcome to my channel this video shows the configuration of a common source amplifier in cadence virtuoso for cs amplifier configuration get an instance of nmos transistor followed by a load resistor to get the instance click on create browse use the gpdk90 search for nmos 1 volt symbol and change the width of the nmos to 1 micro Similarly, get the load resistor RL from analog lib, search for the resistor, change the value to 100 ohm, click on OK. Now it is a 100 ohm resistor. Make the connections. Get the output at this point. Get the input as V sign. V sign from the analog library. Click on OK to provide the input. Similarly, a source which is a VDD, get the VDC from this. Finally, place the ground. Get the instance of ground symbol into the design area ground for this and this as well now make the required connections for this cs amplifier use the wire connect the substrate to the source This is the input and this is the output. Provide the pins V in is the input pin. Similarly, provide the output pin. The direction is output. The parameters of PMOS and resistor are set. Now you provide the DC voltage which is a 1 volt connect this input so that you can see the V in and V out in the plot. Change the parameters or object properties of this. Provide the DC voltage of 0 0.7 or 0 0.5 then AC magnitude let me simulate it with the 2 millivolts and I want to have a simulation frequency of 1 gigahertz DC voltage of 0 0.7 AC magnitude of 2 millivolts or you can change it to 5 as well and the input frequency is 1 gigahertz click on ok save the design then go to the launch you can use any of the options like adxl or adl 
I'll use ADEL. Perform the transient analysis. You can click here or just right click here in this area. Edit. The option is TRAN. And I want to simulate it for 10 microseconds. You can see the accuracy of moderate. Click on OK. The analysis is loaded. I want to have the input and output in the plot. Right click from the design, select the input and output. Click on OK. See that they are loaded in the ADL window. Once these are done, go to the setup for model libraries. Now it is enabled as GPDK 90. Click on Run, Simulation or Netlist and Run. You can click on Split All Strips. Let me change the graph properties by right clicking on this. This signal is the V in and this is the V out. Since it is a common source amplifier, the output is inverted. You can have the or you can see the change. Now it is around starting at 700 millivolt which we have specified. Now on the other hand it is starting at the maximum value of 1 volt. Let me change the parameters like click on this change the edit properties or object properties change it to 5 milli 5 millivolts click on ok and i want to perform the parametric sweep of the variable that is total width on various values i want to perform so what i will use is I will call it as WN as a parameter. Click OK. Now the width is WN. Check and save the design. Right click in this area to copy the parameters WN. Earlier I used the 1 micro as the total width of the transistor. Total width is 1 micro. Now I will simulate it. Just split it. The same plot, but timing has changed. I want to perform the parametric sweep for various values of WN. For that, go to the tools, click on parametric analysis, add the variable here. This was the variable that is wn is the variable initial value is 1 micro now i want to go for 
it starts from like 1 micro to 2 micro or 5 micro total steps of 10 let me check this click on run selected sweeps for various values you can check here in the edl window now it is checking for 1.4 and the value has changed to 1.88 it is performing 10 simulations values changed to 2.3 micro so it is optimizing the results for various values of wn similar analysis can be done on this particular cs amplifier with various values of load resistor still there are few simulations to run because we are simulation is from 1 micro to 5 right now we have reached to 4.55 still one more simulation is there last for 5 micro See the parametric analysis for various values like initially it is at 505 and later it changed. This is for various values and these are the responses for various values. So this shows the responses of a common source amplifier for various values of Wn which is the width of the transistor.